Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, make a video of this <clears throat> before I send it in. I'm going to go through all of the electronic scrap I have gathered here and I'm going to show you where I'm going to send it, give a guesstimate to what I think it's all worth, and uh, yeah. I'm just going to do a little overview of e-scrapping. This is the website it's going to be sent to. Sorry. There it is. Cash for Electronic Scrap. USA.com And this is actually a list of all the stuff they take. So, all kinds of computer stuff. If you're not familiar with electronics, this might be a confusing video. But, I'm going to start with the motherboards. <clears throat> Alright, the motherboards are the... It's like the main board. It's, that's why they call it the motherboard. It's pretty much what runs the computer. You know, besides the CPU. The CPU is... I'll show you that a little bit later. It stands for Central Processing Unit. Alright, here's an example of a motherboard out of a computer. So... Right there. You got the CPU was right here. Um, the RAM was right here, the memory sticks. Then some other connectors were in here, you know, the hard drive and things. Here are some more connections. It's hard to see there, but those are little gold plated pins. So yeah, I got lots of different kinds of motherboards. This one's out of a laptop I just got this weekend. Um, I'd say 15 to 20 pounds of motherboards here. Yeah. If I recall, the website said they pay 3 to 5 bucks each. So, that should be pretty good. Then I'm going to move on to these little boards. These are boards that are inside the computer. You know, some of these are, like this one I think was connected to the hard drive. And I took the hard drive other part off. As you can see... That's all gold-plated fingers right there. And there's other stuff in these too. There's not just gold in these. You know, there's all kinds of precious metals. Just because they're such good conductors. You know, gold, silver, platinum, palladium. I don't know. Rhodium, uh, lead, copper. All kinds of stuff. So, here's a lot of gold fingers on the end here. But they scrap pretty much the whole board. So, it's not just the gold fingers there. They scrap, they scrap out all of it. So we'll see what that ends up being worth. Here is some uh, cell phone boards. So as you can see, like this one right here, that looks like a big thing of gold plating right there. And uh, for each button on the cell phone, you can see there's a little bit of gold plating there. So cell phones have some gold. Look at all the gold plating there. Now a couple pounds of them. That was a NV Touch, I think. So yeah, there's some examples of cell phones and small electronics. Then I got a big pile of cell phone batteries here. I believe they scrapped them also. There's some gold plating right there on the connectors. A couple laptop batteries. A couple laptop batteries and old droid. Here's some more small boards. There's a lot of gold fingers on them. Some small ones there. Um, some kind of a drive here. But onto the stuff where I think the money's gonna be made. Sorry about the shaking here. Here are the memory sticks, the RAM from the computer. The RAM stands for random access memory. There we go. So, yeah, memory has quite a bit of a uh, each of these things right here have different precious metals and obviously the gold fingers again. So a couple pounds of them. These babies are loaded here. CPUs are what they're called. Central processing units. Look at all those gold pins in there. All kinds of them. So all them gold pins and uh, other precious metals. So I got uh, I think 13 to 15 of those so that should be pretty good. Here are some 
gold fingers that I snipped off boards earlier. And then I started just collecting the whole thing. And I found out it's all worth money. So lots of gold fingers there. That's what they're called as gold fingers. Then this is what I think should be worth a little bit of money. This is gold fingers, or sorry, gold pins and other small gold plated items. See that there? I don't know. I weighed it one time. It was like 50 grams. So hopefully that's worth a little bit. Here's that. Here is some random silver scrap. At least I think it's silver. So there's that. Here's some more gold things. Snipped off the ends there. If you can look closely. See those gold pins? They're all gold plated. And uh what's in here? You can see the gold plated stuff. Just a bunch of random stuff in there. And these are the ends. The computer ends are worth two something a pound or something. So there's all those. I think the gold pins right here are going to do the best. You know, quite a bit there. Yeah, I mean, this didn't just happen overnight, guys. I mean, you saw about 15 CPUs, so that's about, I don't know, 15 computers. You saw all the cell phones. A lot of cell phones have gone through. And at first, I was just kind of collecting it, taking them apart as a hobby. But, uh, I think, you know, it depends how this pays off. The plan is... There's all the motherboards. The plan is to get one of them 5-ounce Rushmore's. So... Depending on how much I get, might be able to get two or three, I don't know. But uh, I think I will at least be able to get um, at least one. So, we'll see what happens. Here, sorry, I forgot to mention these. These are keyboards. Yeah. Get a better picture here. It's all silver lined. I like the little connections from key to key. It's a uh, silver lining, so there's that. Got a couple of them here. I don't know, seven of them or so. So, I will get back to you guys with the follow-up video. Let you know how all my gold comes. Kind of sucks I'm getting rid of it when gold drops so low. But, uh, I still, you know, I'm a firm believer that uh, silver is uh, going to... Um, closed the ratio on gold quite a bit yet so silver's really low I mean 20 bucks I mean if I can trade all this gold um, scrap for uh, I don't know 10 ounces of silver or whatever it ends up being I don't really know what it's gonna be because I'm sure it's an expensive process to turn all this stuff you know all these boards all this stuff into uh, pure precious metals so it might not pay off as good as I thought, but we'll just see what happens. You know, I was just kind of playing around with some extra time, and <clears throat> I don't know. I just want to, just another way to make some money, I guess. You know, cool little hobby, too. I definitely like to uh, know how things are put together. That's just how I am, you know. I like taking things apart, putting them back together. So, it's kind of like half hobby, half extra income. But, uh, I mean, I ain't trying to get rich off it. But, uh, who knows in the future, I might have my own little electronic scrap business. I know in my area there isn't one even within, within like 60 miles. So there's an opportunity there for me. So, we'll just see what happens. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and share the video guys. Alright, thanks. Peace.